Hey everyone, Coach Alta here. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be learning how to create a pick monkey banner. So here we go. We're going to go into the Facebook. Um, and here as we start we start off pick monkey I have the upgraded version so I've paid I think like $35 for the entire year the butterfly here you can upload your own photo and so I'm gonna be creating a banner for my friend here Christina I've just saved her photo onto my desktop so here we have Christina and I'm uploading her here and so we now bring her large and what we're gonna do is we're going to edit the background. So I'm gonna make her look several large. So we can go to the eraser here and we can make this larger or smaller. It's easier to erase her background when we go large. So as we go larger, then we can go ahead and make her now look more presentable. Here and we'll edit out her background in the bedroom. This happens to be a selfie shot, depending on what kind of a photo you're looking to make or what kind of a banner. You may want to go ahead and do a little bit less. If you want to get a little closer into the edges, you can go ahead and do that. And so Pick Monkey is really awesome for tutorials and for creating presentations as well as for editing. So here we go. We're going to be doing that for her here. Okay, awesome. And so now you'll see we can create a different size. We can make her larger and we can put her here to the side. And what we're gonna do, she's gonna be doing this for a boot camp. So let's see what kind of an autumn Calabrese banner that I have here. Um, that's a perfect picture. So let's do autumn's picture here. And we're going to be editing autumn as well and so as we go in let's go ahead and edit autumn here and this will give her the look of the trainer that she's going to be using for her challenge and you can do the same thing and see I'm not getting super crazy about like focusing too much on the edges and so, okay, awesome. So now we go back, we have Autumn here on the corner. And so what we can do here is we can go down towards the background and we can go ahead and create a background so that it will, you see if you notice the color differentiation, you wanna go with something that will not accentuate it that much. So that looks pretty good. It covers her background. It looks much better. Um, autumns we could do a little bit better on, but you know what? For all times purposes, we want to make sure that, oops, here we go. Let's go back. Times purposes, we don't spend forever on this because the point is to make it look professional and to give you a different color here. So I actually like that. Let's keep that. And so we're going to do that. and. Now as we go down here, this is where you can choose all the different types of editing background things that you can do. So let's go ahead and create a banner for her. And so we could possibly choose this. And so we can go ahead and make this here and we will go ahead and actually, what you'll notice here is it's covering her. And so we can right click here and we can, oops, send to back. That was awesome. Let's do that again, send to back. And so now we have created a banner here for her. And that looks pretty legitimate there. So let's go see what else we can add quickly so that we can make this professional, make this look good. Um, this looks kind of cool. Let's give her some of this. Um, Okay, so we'll do that and say you want to spark some color. So let's see. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, well, let's leave it right there like that. It looked pretty good in that black. Um, we can go ahead and add some garnishes here, some corners, um, if we want to go ahead and do that. Um, some flourishes. So these are different things that you can add to the corners um, and so 
let's go ahead and actually put some text in here. Her text. Okay, one second. So, here we go. So, I think 30 day boot camp with Coach Christina. So, let's go ahead and make this larger. Whoa, look at what happened. Let's go back and we can click this. We can make it go here and let's bring this to a center. And let's go ahead and choose a pop and color. Let's go back over here, move this box here and let's go down to the fonts. Let's choose something that pops out so that we can make it look really awesome. Um, that looks pretty good right there. And so we can go ahead and bring that down and put that there. And let's go ahead and throw in some garnishes for her here or a flourish. Let's give her a flourish here. And since we already have blue, let's throw in something white right here and give her a little. And let's go ahead and toss in her name. Um, let's see here. What we could do is join us. Uh, let's keep it simple. Join us for our next, next challenge. And let's go ahead and make that centered. And let's see here. Let's do some good dog. Let's go ahead and make it larger. Well, looks pretty big when we do that. And so what we can do is we can expand it. And there we go. And we'll add that there. We can do maybe a white font. Let's see how that looks. Mm, kind of like the black font. Mm. We could also do a nice hot pink. No, nope, it doesn't look that good on that black font. So let's keep it black. Um, so that looks pretty good right there. And so you see, we can take just a couple minutes um, to do that. And let's see, let's see how a little piece of, you know, let's see, paper, scrap paper, uh, like a cardboard piece of paper. And we can go ahead and turn this here. We can do that. I'm not liking that, actually. Let's go ahead and delete that. So you just hover over it, delete, and let's go ahead and put some arrows in here so that that way we make this visible. Let's go ahead and choose a bolder arrow. And to flip the arrow upside down, you can go down here. And let's save this and call it Christina's banner. So there we go. That is how you create a banner. And so we keep it simple and we keep it fresh. So I hope that was helpful for you. I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording. And so you can do a lot of things on PicMonkey and it's actually free. You can do the upgraded version or uh, you can use another program called Canva. I will have to go ahead and do another recording for that. So I hope you enjoyed. This has been Coach Alta and I will see you guys soon.